it's Reagan and today I'm here to bring you my March favorites. Now for the month of March I feel like I did so much. I traveled a lot this month for work, for family, for fun and it was really such a memorable month. That being said I also have a lot of favorite items that are quite all over the board. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So the first items I'm going to talk about, I'm going to quickly mention two of my new favorite home pieces. I've mentioned both of these in my vlogs uh, previously. The first one is an organizational situation and it is a clothing rack. It's over right here <laughs> to the side of me. And I got this from Urban Outfitters. It is just a classic black pipe rail rack. It fits a lot. It also is small and kind of more compact and not too tall so it kind of fits my room a lot nicer uh, and I really really love it and it's helped me see a lot of my favorite clothes a lot easier and also has given me a lot more a space because I have a lot of clothes and I have to share my space with clay. No, I don't do a very good job of sharing. <laughs> Next thing that I am obsessed with, probably one of my favorite purchases in a while, is my new quilt. I picked this up from Anthropology. I love it. I love uh, its colors. I feel like it adds a little brightness to the room. It makes me feel like spring. And now my new favorite thing is to like sit on my bed with my quilt and read. I used to do it more in the living room, but now I definitely feel like I'm obsessed with my bedroom right now. And it has a lot to do with this dang quilt. It's the best. Now moving on to clothing item, tropical traveling. If you're interested in seeing some photos, be sure to check me out on Instagram. Uh, but I got a lot of stuff for that trip so I have some warm weather favorites that I actually have been able to wear and can say that they are in fact my favorites. The first two things I'm going to show off are some shoes. The first shoes I love, they are so dirty right now because I wore them to a volcano national park and they are white. And they're my Supergas. I need to give these a wash but I actually love Supergas. I have a suede pair that have Sherling line that I've been wearing during the winter time, but I picked up a white pair before I went to Hawaii, and I'm gonna be wearing these all summer long. They're incredibly comfortable. They're perfect little white shoes. They're very durable and washable, and I find them much easier to get in and out of than Converse and Vans, which for some reason I have the hardest time getting on and off. That might just be a me problem. But I also just think they're really fun. I think they're cute to wear with dresses. You can wear them with jeans. I'm just kind of switching it up from my Vans Converse. So I've been trying these out and I love them so much. They're comfortable immediately. Next up is another pair of shoes from my favorite shoe brand. That's Nisolo. I have already probably shown these off in a favorite, but they're continuing to be a favorite. I wear them so often. They're their cut out uh, slip on loafer. I feel like they're the perfect transitional shoe. So you don't have to wear socks. They're great in the summertime, but they still cover most of your foot. They also are unlike a mule, so they stay on. I have a hard time having mules stay on my feet. Again, might just be a me problem, but I love these shoes. I've also been loving my Dari boots, which hold on. Are these? These two shoes have been my go-to pair of shoes, either if I want flats or boots. These boots are so comfortable. I can walk miles in these like the first time I wore them. I don't think I own more comfortable boots. So love these shoes. Next up, I'm going to talk about something I never thought I would on um, a favorites video or on my YouTube channel, and that's a bathing suit. Uh, I am not a bathing suit kind of girl. I love swimming. I always felt like I could never find a bathing suit that I put on and I was like, wow, I feel really good in this. It's so cute. It's very flattering and it feels very me, but I feel like I finally found a combination that I actually like wearing, which is something I don't feel like I've ever been, been able to say with a bathing suit. So the bottoms I'll show off first are like gingham bottoms. They're also a very interesting material. It's not that like traditional, um, I don't know, bathing suit material. These are high-waisted, obviously, super flattering, super form-fitting, but also give you a lot of coverage. They're not like super small in the back. Uh, these are from J. Crew. I absolutely love them. And to go with this, I also picked up this top from J. Crew, which is this little bright red top. I like it because it's retro, um, and I, I like how it's cut straight across, but also has straps, so it's not gonna fall down. It is um, a really nice contrast to the blue. It has a retro vibe, but it's not like super revealing or anything, and it's a lot of fun and cute. And I wore this in Hawaii, and I felt really confident in it, so I felt like I wanted to show it off because I feel like I'm not even kidding. I don't, this is my favorite swimsuit I've owned in my entire life. 
and I have been alive for a while. Next up, I gotta show off my new favorite pair of jeans. But I picked up the new Slim Boyfriend edition from Madewell. They released a spring edition. They're just in a lighter wash with holes in the knees. This is the most flattering cut pair of jeans ever, the Slim Boyfriend. I'm talking about like across the range. I have every pair that they put out and I love them. These are perfect for the summer. They have a cut off hem. I already mentioned the distressed knees and they go with everything. They're super stretchy, super comfortable. Size down on the Slim Boyfriends as they run big. I size, size down between three to two sizes. So just keep that in mind. Next up, I have two summer dresses to show off. Eee, summer dresses. The first one I picked up from Nordstrom. It is this um, stripe and also embroidered midi dress. I'll have a picture on the screen. This has ties also in the back as it has a bit of an open back, but I've been layering this over a t-shirt or I can wear it on its own. It also has buttons down the front. It's just super, super, super cute. Very flattering. I feel like it can work on so many different types of body types and you can work with like a t-shirt, you can layer without it. It's very lightweight, super, super cute. Perfect for spring, summer, love it. The other dress I was just living in while I was in Hawaii is this, it's gonna be hard to show, but again, I'll have a picture, is this gingham linen wrap dress from Urban Outfitters. It has pockets, it's a great length, it's a kind of a long midi. I would say size down, because this has a lot of fabric. I got a small, and I don't think I'm usually a small in Urban Outfitters, but this dress has been amazing. It's a wrap dress, which always makes it comfortable because you can adjust. It's super flattering. It's lightweight, perfect for when it gets hotter, but you can also layer like a denim jacket over this really, really easily. It's the best. Other thing I have been loving uh, is this cardigan from Madewell. It's this super soft uh, cardigan that has kind of stitched detailing. It's cream with like navy accents that go all the way down. It's a longer cardigan. It's been going, it goes great with light wash jeans, like a gray tee, a white tee, a pink tee, all the things. This is like my summer cardi and I have been living in it. I traveled in this for 16 hours. It's so soft and comfortable and it's just like the perfect cozy summer thing. And the last clothing favorite I'm gonna talk about is actually a brand and it is Target's new brand. It's called Universal Thread and it's essentially a Madewell Target version. They have amazing basics, button down basics, jean basics for such an affordable price. Every time I go into that section online or in the store, I go crazy because I want to buy everything. And again, much more affordable than Madewell. I have picked up oh, five, six things from there, but I'm going to show you my favorite things. The first is this cropped army jacket that has a like rough hem. This is awesome. This was $30. Uh, I've been eyeing one for Madewell for years, which is like over a hundred. It's just a perfect classic green button down. It has, you know, it's great for layering when it starts to warm up. This could also layer under jackets really nicely. It's just cool. It goes really nicely with like t-shirts, like this little stripy shirt I'm wearing. And it's just, it's like a perfect basic. I also picked up two button downs, which I love. Both were $19.99. The first one is this pink stripe button down. I've already Instagrammed both of these, so I'll have it up as well. This is just the best. It's lightweight, great color, great quality. Great style, perfect button down. And I also picked up this guy, which is kind of a navy with orange vertical stripe. Again, great quality, great style, easy to wear, only $19.99, so pretty affordable for a very high quality classic piece. This isn't really gonna go out of style anytime soon. And again, comparative to like Madewell prices or anthropology prices, Target is right on point. This line also is in plus sizes as well, which is amazing. I really highly recommend you guys checking this out for jeans, for accessories, for top tops, anything you need. It's great. So cute. So those are all of my fashion favorites for this month a lot because I feel like I have lived in two climates for this month. So I've been able to wear a lot of things. Uh, but now let's move on to my favorite music and movies. I've also consumed a lot of this this month as well, which is exciting. First off, music. Two albums of the month that I have been listening so much. First off, The Decemberists released a new album this month and I've been loving it. It's a great new release. I have it on vinyl and I'm seeing them in April. Could not be more excited. And I would say my favorite album of the month is Dua Lipa's album. This has been out for ages. I just discovered it. I don't know how I just discovered it, but I'm so happy I did. Love this album. She's coming to Lollapalooza. I'm gonna see her. Couldn't be more pumped about that. 
Such a fun, great album, such good jams. I listen to it a lot at work and I'm just like... Moving on to movies, I've seen quite a few, I feel like. So first off, I saw three billboards outside of Emming, Missouri. Great movie, uh, very intense, very emotional, and also kind of funny. It had some like dark humor elements, which I really appreciated. Also saw Shape of the Water, which was weird, but very, very beautiful and unique. And I'm glad I watched it. I actually watched it on the plane and it was engrossing. Uh, I mean, definitely worth watching. Uh, it makes you definitely want to watch more films by that director because I feel like he's very unique point of view. I was forced to watch Justice League on the plane because they made everyone watch it. That was um, about as bad as I was expecting it to be. I feel like I should mention it, definitely not a favorite. But I do want them to make a movie about Flash and I already love Wonder Woman, so worth mentioning for that instance. Uh, moving on to TV, uh, well, no, new news here. Still deep in Survivor world and land, it has been an addiction and I feel like I need to start broadening my horizons um, away from just the challenge and survivor because I need to watch other things. I was traveling a lot this month so I didn't actually watch a lot of survivor compared to previous months but still like I need to catch up on Westworld, I need to I need to finish The Crown, I need to finish some shows that I'm really enjoying and completely put on hold because of my deep and unending love for Survivor. Alrighty guys, that concludes all of my favorites for the month. Let me know down below anything that you're really enjoying as I would love to know and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!